ट्रांसपोर्टर टू आवर इनफ्लक्स ट्रांसपोर्टर एंड इन केस ऑफ अपटेक ट्रांसपोर्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वन अपटेक ट्रांसपोर्टर इन्वॉल्व एंड ड्रग विल मूव फ्रॉम हेयर टू इंटेस्टाइनल एरिया नाउ दिस अपटेक रिसेप्टर विल ट्रांसपोर्टर विल नॉट गिव अस द स्पोर्ट दिस इफ्लक्स ट्रांसपोर्टर विल गिव अस द स्पोर्ट सो वन अपटेक ट्रांसपोर्टर अदर इफ्लक्स ट्रांसपोर्टर दे विल मेक सम कंबिनेशन and the drug will move from the ga system toward the blood it means these uptake receptors are important okay vice versa with the case of when drug is moving from blood towards the ga system okay we have the maximum plenty of drug in the blood and now drug taking some type of the equilibrium drug is moving now from the blood towards the ga system now once again this membrane will be giving us a concept of the two different layer one layer is apical layer other is basolateral layer and in case of these layer we will assume that now drug is moving for by using the uptake transporter it comes here now this efflux uh, transporter will give us the movement of drug from the gi lumen gi uh, intestine towards the gi lumen so there should be a pair of the uptake and also the efflux transporter this is our carrier mediated approaches okay what are the uptake transporters are now we have in our uh, in our study for example uptake transporters are basically four types types of uptake transporter these are they have four one is organic anion transporter polypeptides organic anion transporters polypeptides okay remember these peptide these transporters are present in whole of our gh tract in our membranes but they have the specific area and specific they are dominant in some areas for example these organic anion transporters are present in the intestine we will say so this uh, we can write o a t p o a t p uptake types of the uptake transporter okay the big uh, the major type is s l c super okay super fine slc means salute carrier salute salute carrier super family super family we are discussing when we check the our concept of uptake transporter we will use the word slc salute carrier salute carrier uh, our so uh, salute carrier super family means ye these are the basically types of the organic anion transporter polypeptides and these are present in the intestine and kidneys and even liver and other is organic anion transporter anion transporter abbreviated by otp these are present in kidneys other is organic cation transporter oct present in liver and last is peptide 
ट्रांसपोर्टर पीईपीटी दीज आर सम अपटेकर्स अपटेक ट्रांसपोर्टर्स देर नेम्स वेन वी सी डिफरेंट बुक्स वी कैन सी ओके ड्रग इज मूविंग बाय बाय द ओ ए टी पी ट्रांसपोर्टर वट इट मीन्स ड्रग इज मूविंग बाय ऑर्गेनिक एन आइन ट्रांसपोर्टर पॉलीपेप्टाइड ट्रांसपोर्टर्स विच इज एक्चुअली अपटेक ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑर्गेनिक एन आइन ट्रांसपोर्टर ओ टी पी ऑर्गेनिक केटाइन ट्रांसपोर्टर ओ सी टी एंड पेप्टाइड ट्रांसपोर्टर पी ई पी टी दीज आर द बेसिकली फोर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द आवर ट्रांसपोर्टर विच आर डायरेक्टली बिलोंग्स टू द अपटेकर ओके इन केस ऑफ अपटेकर दीज आर द डिफरेंट वी हैव जीन्स इन आवर बॉडी एंड दीज जीन्स विल गिव अस सम डिफरेंट नेम्स एंड वी कैन चेक इन द डिफरेंट क्लासेस डिफरेंट इवन बुक्स ओके अदर इज नाउ अपटेक ट्रांसपोर्टर एंड पैरल विद दिस इज ई फ्लैक्स ट्रांसपोर्टर Eflex transporters. This is these are also called A, B, C superfamily. A for adenosine triphosphate, B for base, C for cassette, adenosine triphosphate. based cassette concept these are basically efflux our natural system in our body which will protect our organs our cells our tissues from the any other external particle even drug and these abc adenosine triphosphate based cassettes will give us the concept of the movement of drug from uh from the uh, cellular to outside the from the outside from the membrane efflux means movement of the drug from the from inner to the outer efflux and this case of efflux permeability uh, glycoproteins we will see the words p g p p permeability glycoproteins these are the example of efflux uh cytochrome p450 is the example of the efflux we will see the word bcrp breast cancer resistant proteins and bsrp bile salt export pump these are basically our efflux transporters now what we have learned today is diffusion permeability and this permeability is depended on the two concepts by diffusion by carrier mediation in case of diffusion there are also two types parallel passive diffusion transparallel tra and transcellular uh, paracellular tra passive diffusion and transcellular passive diffusion and other concept is carrier mediation and in case of carrier mediation we have uptake transporter and efflux transporter and these uptake transporter are basically used to uptake the drug either from the ga system towards the systemic circulation or the systemic towards the ga system and efflux means expelling the drug from the medium and the p glycoprotein which the word which we have learned a lot of time cytochrome p450 these are the basically words which are for sporting us these are basically permeable glycoproteins cytochrome p450 these are all the example of 
efflux transporters means they are expelling the drug from the cellular level towards the other so we will you when we you can take the concept of p glycoproteins when we inhibit the p, p glycoproteins it means we are giving the opportunity to the drug to move drug from the outer side towards the inner side of the cell means we are increasing the absorption if we are inhibiting the p cytochrome p450 where we are doing the same and if we are enhancing these uptake receptors if we if some drugs are enhancing the effect of and we are checking we are using these two type of the drug one drug is in enhancing the uptake receptor activity and other is getting the absorption then our therapeutic level will be therapeutic effect will be increased with the same way we can check the drug drug interaction we can check the toxicity of the drug either if by taking the some opportunity of their synergism or their their antagonism or their their different type of the uh, combine activities of the two or more drugs okay at the end difference between the passive and the active diff passive diffusion and the carry media carrier mediate is in case of transportation substance substrate specific are required but in case of passive diffusion there is no need of the substrate because these uptake transporter will be present on the some substrate kidneys liver skin say intestine these are all the substrate but in case of passive diffusion substrate is not needed in case of finite account amount of the transportation and drug drug interaction may be due to the compatibility of the transporters for example two or three drugs are equally affecting on the same substrate then there may be a chance to be a, some type of the interaction between these these two drugs so this drug drug interaction can be possible by you by taking the concept of the by working on the uptake of uh, transporter areas but not in the case of diffusion or genetically uh, the main thing is we have an uh, genetically we have differences in our in our body and these genetically differences will give us the different concepts of our transporters some genetically modified genetically people have the have their uh, values of the transporter much high as compared to the other one so the behavior of the drug which is following the transporter or the carrier mediation can be more, can be changed by the change of the genetically makeup i hope you understand this point this point of permeation studies and uh, we uh, we will continue this this concept of the permeation when we see we study the first order concept of, of oral doliform thank you